In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a global attribute into WooCommerce. We go over to Products and down to Attributes. Now, the main reason we do this, if we know we're going to use this attribute in a variation several times, it's much easier to add it in here than to put it in individually each time you put a product in. So we'll do a simple one to start with. So we'll go Sizes, the Slug normally all in lowercase, the Sizes. Leave this as select. If you change this to text here, you, it will not work further down the track. So leave that as it is and click Add Attribute. Alright, we've got our small our sizes there. We're going to start adding our small, medium, large, extra large. So over here, we'll click on the configure terms and we'll start entering those in. So we've got small. Okay, so I've got all our sizes there. Now, this may not be necessarily the order you want these in. If you want to, you can simply just drag and drop these around. Okay, so on the drop down menu, a little bit later on, are coming correctly. Missed the capital on that one. Okay, so that's all in order there. So all our sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. So if we now go back and we'll add a product. Okay, so we'll just test attributes as a name. Okay, we'll scroll down. This needs to be set to a variable product. Okay, if you've got a SKU number, you can add this in here if you wish, but because we're doing variations and different sizes, you may want to allocate a different number to each particular size. So what we need to do is go to Attributes, and on our drop-down menu here, Find Sizes, and we add that. Okay, we want to select them all, and there they all are. If there's not a size that is appropriate to this particular product, you can simply just click it off, but in this situation, we want them all there. Tick both of these boxes. Save attributes. Okay, now we go to variations. And the easy thing to do here is to link all variations. Okay, on this screen here, you'll see that it's already created all the different variations. So your size is small, medium, we can scroll down. Now, at the very least, you need to put a price into this screen. So, we'll go through and do that. If you don't put a price in, the variation simply won't appear up on the home page when you go to check this actual product. Okay, we'll just save that as a draft for now. And then we shall preview. And choose an option, and there's all your different variants there. Hope that helps out, and it should save you a lot of time. Thanks for watching.